All right, so Memrise is a free service that you can use to learn any language. And today I'll show you how to use it to learn and understand the Holy Quran in Arabic. And the best way to use Memrise is after learning a lesson. So for example, if you're learning the frequency list of 50% of Quranic Arabic, then the best time to use Memrise is after finishing each lesson. So first you watch the lesson, you download and study the PDF file, and finally you use Memrise. And if you want to join us in learning 50% of the Quranic Arabic, you can follow these lessons and I'll leave the links in the description as well. So how does this work? Let's find out. So the first thing is that you will have to go to the website which is memrise.com. To make it easier for some people, I'll also leave the link in the description. And this is going to be the first thing you see when you go to the website. The first step that you will have to take is to make an account on Memrise. And to do so, you will have to click on sign up in order to make an account. And once you click on sign up, it will take you to this page. And here you will have to choose which language you want to learn. And frankly, it doesn't make any difference which language you choose because we'll be looking up a certain course that I have fixed up for you. So you can go ahead and choose anything. I chose French, doesn't really matter. Next, you'll have to choose your level. Again, it doesn't make any difference which level you choose. So you can just go ahead and click on a random level. After that, you will have the ability to create your own account. And this is gonna be a very important step because you'll have to enter your correct information and you're gonna use this information to log into your account in the future. And here I used a disposable account just for the video purposes to show you how it works. After that, it will take you directly to the course that you've chosen, but this is not what we're looking for. So you can go ahead and click on quit course because this is not what we are looking for. Now it is a time to look for the course that I have prepared for you that you can use to learn the Holy Quran. And you can do that in two ways. First, and it's the easier way, you can just find the link in the description for the course that will take you directly to the page of the course, which is the same link you see on the screen right now. Or you could just try and find the course through the website, which I will show you how to do right now. So the first step that you're going to do is to click on courses on top of the page. And afterwards, you're going to go on the left side of the page and click on languages, then, and then Middle Eastern, then Arabic, then you will have to click on Classical Quranic Arabic. Once you click on that, you'll see many courses come up, but then if you scroll down a little bit, you will see this course, which is called Road to Understanding the Holy Quran, which is the course that I have prepared for you. So you can just go ahead and click on it. And once you click on it, you will see that the course is made up of seven lists and one list that is a bonus list, which is actually a combination of words that you have already learned throughout the course of the seven lessons. So how do you add the course to your account so that you can access the course much more easily without having to go through all these steps every time you want to learn the words? And the way to do that is to click on this yellow button, which is Get Started Now. Once you click on it, the course will be added to your account. And every time you enter or log into your account, you'll see the course coming up so that you can continue where you left off. And once you click on it, it will directly take you inside the course. But before we start working, we need to look at the options that we have available. Once you click on each lesson, you'll see the list of words and you can navigate through each lesson by clicking on level two, which will take you to the next list. Once you choose a list that you want to learn, you can click on this button, learn these words to start learning the list. And what the program does, it breaks down this list into sessions or smaller lists. And we're gonna see how this works in practice. So once you click on learn these words, it will take you to this page. And here you will see the definition of the word that you are about to learn, the word itself, 
And if you want to have more information about the word, if there are more alternatives or synonyms, you can click on more and you will see more details if they are available. And you can click on this icon. If you already know the word and you don't want to include it in this session, and if you want to hear the word being pronounced one more time, you can click on this icon on top of the word. And on top here, you will see the number of words that are included in this session. And in this case, there are five words. You can of course change the number of words per session if you go to your account settings. You can turn it into 10 or 15 or as many as you like. And by clicking on this button, help me remember this, you can link or add more details that can help you remember this word by. So you can add a sentence or even a picture if this helps you to remember the word more easily. Once you learn the word and you know what it means, you can click on next to go to the next word and so on. As you progress the program will alternate between words that you have not seen before and words that you have learned and you're getting exercises for them and this is going to go until you have learned all the five words in this session and once you're done with this session it will go to the next session until you've learned the whole list so this was memorize in a nutshell you can also use the memorize app which has the exact same functions just make sure that you would log in with the account that you've made on the desktop version and then you will be able to access the course and do the exact same thing but the only difference is that you can do it on the go without having to be sitting in front of a computer desktop. So if you have any questions about how to use the program or where to find some features, you can always leave your questions in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as I can. So this is gonna be the end of today's lesson everyone. Thanks for watching, I hope you've learned something new today. If you did, please like and share the video for other people to learn from it. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next lesson.